Hello Aries and welcome to your monthly forecast. Really great to see everyone again. Uh, I hope that things are getting off to a good start for you. Uh, before we get started though, I'd like to remind you that you can always use this for your sun, for your rising, and also for your moon sign. Uh, with all of that getting out of the way then, I like to begin with the channeled information. And for those of you that are new, I get this when I uh, select a deck of cards and then I do a meditation for each sign. As I was tuning into your sign, there were a couple of things that came through. Uh, the first is that this message for you today is really going to be hinging around transparency. And uh, the interesting thing is, it's not always easy to be frank, to be honest, to, um, to say what you want to say because sometimes there's uh, authority that gets in the way or tradition that gets in the way or fear. And so for those of you where it's a minor thing, maybe like fear or discomfort, uh, the message here to say what you mean and mean what you say is encouraging you to move past that and really believe in yourself, believe in your message, and it's your enthusiasm that is going to uh, win everyone else over. So once you believe in what you're trying to uh, put out in the world, everyone else is gonna be much more likely to also get on board, but if you don't believe it, it's a hard sell for anybody. So uh, that's part one, is to really be passionate, to be uh, behind your message and to understand why you're doing what you're doing. The second part is if you're being put in a position where you're being asked to uh, to say something that is either untrue or is contrary to how you believe, how you feel, or against your morals, then you might have to do some soul searching and see if you're the best conduit for that information. Maybe you can have someone else uh, step up to the plate and do the communication. Uh, but bit better than that, or, or a bigger sort of component of that is why are you in this situation, or why are you in this group, or why are you working for this place where you're being forced to do something or, or being um, pushed to do something that isn't exactly what you want to do. Uh, and the last thing is it can be peer pressure too. So uh, try to be as true to yourself as you can, try to be as honest as you can, and at the very least, try to believe what you want to say, particularly if you're in sales, marketing, or uh, trying to affect social change. You have to believe in yourself and also trying to apply for a job. Basically, that, that inner compass of yours uh, is going to be what other people read just as much as you. So if you're pointing in one direction but saying something here, they're going to read it in body language, in uh, vocal in intonation and inflection. and also, just intuitively, uh, I'm sure you've met individuals where you know just from shaking their hand or the way they speak that you can't trust them or that you can trust them. So uh, I want you first to believe in yourself, believe in your message, and if you can't do that, then you have to go back a few steps and think why are you delivering it and why are you in that place. All right, let's take a look now at your Catalyst card. The Catalyst card I pulled before I look at the Celtic Cross. and for you, what I'm getting is a card that is indicating relationships with your father, relationships with men in your life. But the interesting thing with this card is it doesn't just have to do with, um, with like fathers and sons or fathers and daughters. Uh, because the definition of father can also include a divine feminine energy that acts as a father. For instance, in a, a single parent home where there's a mom and she takes the role of both mom and father. Uh, so if that's you, this could also indicate that. Also, if there's a, a home with two mothers, two fathers, whoever you feel most, uh, who, whoever you feel is most paternal or most um, sort of traditionally masculine or assertive in the role, this card probably uh, would align to that. But irrespective of who it goes to, really what this is about is, do you feel safe? Do you feel nurtured? Do you feel supported? Um, because what our parents are supposed to pass on to us are lessons, um, security, and strength, and that's what this card is showing. So if you have a father in your life and relationships are strained, um, or if you have a father figure, whether it's a man or a woman, um, I want you to try to repair some of those, some of the uh, ties that you have to them and see if there's anything going on in your life at the moment uh, that is making you feel uncertain, making you feel like you don't have the confidence to do what you need in front of you, like what, whatever tasks, whatever um, challenges you have. And if you need to seek out a mentor, this card is really saying it's never too late in your life, whether or not you have a biological father or not, or whether or not you feel like you need a parent, this card is showing you this is a good month for 
either taking on that mentorship, passing on the baton to someone else and fulfilling the role that maybe you never had, or repairing something with another person in your life that could maybe step in as a proxy. So I want you to work on um, that sort of support role in your life that fathers are supposed to be, uh, a sign of strength, of support, of encouragement, and a paternal energy, which is not, as we start to progress uh, as a human race, I really believe divine feminine and divine masculine are gonna have more in common than they have in, uh, apart. Both are supposed to show uh, support for one another, support for their children, and the traditional sort of paradigms that we have are going to shift. So in your life, realize you don't need a parent to be complete. Uh, and this card is reminding you that uh, as well. So I really do believe if you didn't have that role in your life, you can always take on the role of a mentor and take on a mentee, uh, even in a professional environment where you decide maybe you want to train somebody or whatever. And it could heal some past wounds, which will, in effect, help you with relationships, romantic relationships and friendships in the future. I hope that makes sense. Uh, and now let's take a look at the Celtic Cross for this month, which is going to show general information and insight. And for those of you that are brand new, I just want to say welcome. And for everyone that comes here month to month, thank you and welcome back. Uh, the way I structure this for the new folks, though, is I will begin with the channeled information, which we just saw. And then I take a look at the main energy of the month. And I try not to constrain this to any one category. Uh, instead, what I do afterwards is expand the forecast to include health, wealth, love, and destiny to make sure we touch on those points. Um, but that way, whatever needs to come through will come through. And this looks like it's a change month for many of you. Let me uh, put the camera down and uh, push it back a little bit so you can see this easier. And what we have here right at the center is precisely what we were talking about in the channeled information here. So the king of swords in reverse, it's a card of open communication, of clear communication and effective speaking as well. The reversal of this is, is about sometimes needing to be um, bluntly honest, saying exactly what's on your mind. This could also be tied to the father card that we're talking about. There may be some of you that have uh, a father figure who's really, really uh, either too direct or not direct enough. Whatever the communication issues are, this is a reminder to try to heal it. And if not heal it, then just simply not repeat it in your life. One last note um, about the what we were talking about just before I was talking about the father stuff, about direct communication. There are certain points, particularly if, for instance, you're a parent uh, or, or a boss, or you're being asked to research um, the pros and cons of something where you, you have to deliver uh, the truth and just the truth. And so in those cases, I'm definitely encouraging you this month to speak from the heart, speak truthfully, and know that that was your task. For everyone else, uh, what I'm really seeing with this is that you want to find that fine line where you can be a persuasive speaker and try not to come across in a way that is hurting someone else's feelings because there is a difference between being honest and being, uh, and being sort of cruel or being inappropriate. So that's the only piece that comes through with this is that you always want to temper for your audience, but that doesn't mean that you don't have to be truthful, okay? Um, moving along, this is crossed by the Knight of Cups. So this is helping you kind of find your moral compass and your passionate sort of compass in how to make your decisions. So trust your heart is what it's saying. Uh, if I were to just kind of boil that down into plain speak, it's saying you already know what you need to do. You don't need my interpretation. You don't need my permission. You don't need anyone else's. What you need to do is to trust yourself and also follow your passion, your what's, what's really driving you. Because somewhere along the way, that might have gotten lost in the shuffle. Uh, let's look at the rest of the cards here. Deep past, we're looking at a need to really get a handle on money. This is a lesson from prior to the retrograde cycle, probably the last couple of months. Page of Pentacles uh, in an upright position usually shows money flowing in. In a reversal, it usually shows that money is either not meeting your expectations or that you might have had some expenditures that are making you question if you have enough, will you be able to sustain? So the way to turn this around in real life is to uh, really start to look at your, your uh, checkbook, your savings account, your credit cards, your long-term investments, and see 
uh, if it's if it's going to be enough to take care of you, your business, your family, etc., and make the changes that are necessary. We have the Justice card. It is upright. It's in the recent past and the uh, and events affecting the first week of the month. And this is where this is part of the reason, even prior to seeing the spread, that I, I got a feeling that honesty would be paramount to this month. I really think you have to do what is right. And for some of you, this could also mean that you're going to decide to take a case. Uh, to court or that you're going to file some sort of a lawsuit against someone or you're going to look into your legal actions that you can take or also protect yourself in case someone's trying to um, to sue you whatever the case is don't be afraid to talk to a lawyer this month if you need to do it's right that's the most important thing for other folks this can actually just indicate a career choice um, that's on the horizon a change perhaps the reason I'm drawing that conclusion is I see uh, four cards here that are kind of showing me a sh five actually most of the cards that I'm looking at are showing a shift for those of you in a work situation where you feel undervalued uh, I see that there's already a, a, a feeling that you would leave now if you could um, many of you have already started to withdraw from that job or have started to throw out resumes and it seems like for many of you that could be a dead end um, and if that's the case that's okay because I see the money has to change anyway for you so look at I want you to carefully pursue the next opportunity. Uh, your outcome or your, um, your suggested outcome card here is to research, research, research. You should have a couple of backup um, options and you shouldn't jump before you have a very clear place to land. So even though you might be really unhappy, um, justice is upright. It's saying take your time, make a smart decision, research everything with the two of wands here. Uh, and reach out to your network the four of wands here is all about who you know and this is probably going to for those of you that are job seeking come from a, a person that's already in your um, circle of friends there may be a little bit of additional travel or it may be outside of your uh, present city so make sure that you're looking in a wide enough zone for that uh, for other folks this can also indicate a desire to uh, be free maybe be free of a relationship the Justice card upright is usually a more subtle and gentle card than a reversal, so you've probably been thinking about that for a while. There might be a need for some independence. Uh, there's still a chance that this can be an amicable split for those of you doing that, and I think the reason that that's coming for many of you, the same reason that I'm seeing for work, is that the relationship played itself out, and, uh, and there may be some distance that's grown between the two of you. Or maybe one of you wants to focus a little bit more on school, career, or self-improvement and the other partner may not be there for that. For the rest of you, what I'm seeing here is uh, the middle of the month is actually a very good time for improving any type of relationship that you have. So if you've had some difficulties with your love life, with your boss, with your friends, uh, and many of you may be feeling like it's, it's sort of like something has to shift or you're going to move on, then uh, take the second and third week of the month and assess the situation take a look and see how do I feel with this person is it just that I'm frustrated or am I really absolutely ready to move on and if you are the wheel of fortune in reverse is showing that it's overdue and so you know you you have to follow what feels right for you but I'm sensing a, uh, for most of you a feeling of getting getting ready or anticipating the future uh, and not really wanting to exist in a situation whether it's a work situation a relationship or even some of you that might be getting ready to retire or graduate, you're seeing that next, um, it's like the finish line and you're two or three hurdles away from the finish line. And so I, I absolutely understand how that can feel. So for that, um, the important thing for you is to take a look at what your priorities are and uh, are you ready to make the jump sooner? Maybe early retirement is an option. Maybe you can quit and you have enough pay uh, in your savings account to allow for that. But what I'm seeing here is you really want to crunch the numbers before making a decision like that. So a lot of change opportunity happening this month and that seems exciting to me uh, because it's always better if we can uh, shift out of something that's not satisfactory or that is holding you back. And I feel like for some of you, that's the case here. If you're looking for a time marker uh, for when it would be good to make some of these changes, October looks a lot better. So if you can give it one full month, I feel like things are going to be much easier for you um, to make a decision in one to two months time. Uh, and I do think it's a good move for many of you. Um, if everything's feeling really calm in your life, what I see here with the Fool card is a, a suggestion to move more, to get outside. Um, 
And I also want you to, for those of you that are sitting down too much um, or haven't, haven't taken a, a vacation in a while, you need to change your routine a bit. So uh, any type of vacation that you can take or movement that you can do that is out of your normal day-to-day -day routine is gonna benefit you quite a bit. Everybody this month in this sign, really I want you to look at your finances because we have the page of Pentacles and also the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Just a gentle nudge for you to, uh, to find your stride when it comes to finances. All right, so let's now expand the forecast and we're gonna take a look at health, wealth, love, and destiny. So let's get started with the health card. And health card always includes mind, body, and spirit. It's not something that, at least in my experience, exists in a vacuum. So let's see how these three things are going to play together today. We have a divine healing card here, which says honor your sensitivity and take time to recharge and retreat to heal. Uh, this is especially true for those of you that take care of either older parents, younger children, someone in your life who is dependent on you. Uh, I really want you to take care of yourself first. I'll say this from time to time in my monthlies or my weeklies, uh, but caretakers often forget to take care of themselves. And so do light workers and healers and psychologists and psychiatrists and doctors. So you could be any one of that group of people. Um, if you help other people in, as a career, or if you're just a naturally empathic and healing person, I want you to take a little bit of time this month to really focus on giving back to yourself. And particularly when it comes to quiet time. So I'm looking at this uh, retreat and recharge. Sleep is gonna be really important. If there's anything that's impeding your sleep, uh, take care of that. You deserve it and you need that energy to take care of other people. Um, the most important thing here is quiet time. So you may be one of those people that has a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of devices and maybe you have a TV in your bedroom or whatever. The way you can start to create a sense of quiet is to clean up your bedroom, um, turn off the television, put your devices on mute. I have this on do not disturb while I'm doing a reading so that um, you're not hearing this buzzing in the background or seeing it light up. And there's a lot of things that you can do after a certain time of day or night to make sure that even if it's for half an hour that you have a little bit of time for your mind to decompress and more importantly for your body because that's going to follow suit. Okay, let's take a look at wealth. For me, the wealth card can indicate different things depending on your uh, time in life that you're at. So whether you're, if you're it can be student, it can be all about school. If you're a young professional, this could be about your career or your money. And if you're retired, it can be about your security. Are you secure? So let's see what's affecting your wealth opportunities or your wealth stability this month. And we have this magic card, which is showing me that to do things that feel right. There's a lot of this coming through this, this month. What we see right here is a lot of heart chakra energy. And I want you to feel at home and happy with your money and with your job and with your retirement fund, all of that. If there's something that is irritating you or making you lose sleep or making you feel like you don't have a full handle on the situation, this is the month to empower yourself. So whether that means talking to someone and saying, if you're married and the other person takes care of all of the finances, you can say, I'd like the password for the bank and I wanna to start to look at some of our purchases so I can be a part of this um, partnership and make sure that I understand where the money's going and see where I can help, um, maybe see if I have any suggestions. So don't be afraid to do that, it's your money too. And the same thing holds true for if you're um, you know, in a job and you don't feel like you have enough of a say, it's a good time to talk to uh, maybe your boss and talk about career opportunities in the horizon and career growth, et cetera. So um, you have to feel at home with your money and your work. And, and also for those of you that own houses or larger material items, um, make sure that you're, you're happy with those. And if not, then there has to be a shift there as well. So we just looked at health and wealth. Let's take a look at love. Love can include both romantic relationships and also just those intimate relationships in our life that uh, we have through friendship, through blood, through kin. So let's see what the love card um, is saying for all of these things. Okay, so we have new love, which is great. And the new love card is inviting, well, two things. It's telling you to be open to new opportunities because you have to be able to uh, be in a place where you'll receive new love and new, um, new friendships. And also it's saying that don't be afraid 
to be the instigator here. So maybe you're getting out of a relationship or you just got rid of a, a friend that didn't, uh, that, that was a negative influence. You don't want to necessarily immediately go into the next relationship, but start thinking about where would you look or who are you looking for? So if you're dating, maybe this is an online profile or it could be uh, about hanging out with some friends and you know starting to do things socially so that you could be seen and maybe be more approachable. So um, I see love opportunities wanting to come in this month, new friendships wanting to come in, uh, but it's a two-way street. So the question to you is, are you ready? All right, so let's now take a look at your destiny card. And I'm gonna use this lovely animal oracle deck that I was using for the weekly as well. Your destiny card uh, for this month, if I can get it, is this nightingale card uh, and it's reversed. And what this card is telling you to do is to uh, listen to your dreams and also try to uh, not feel like you have to meet up to other people's expectations. This card is about you. You notice that what does a nightingale do? It sings, it speaks, it has its own music. Um, so this is about creating your own song, whatever that is in your life. Um, that may not be what your mother wants or what your lover wants or what your brother or your sister wants. Um, this is what you want. It's finding your own place in the world. And that, that sense of independence, I think, is really the most important message that I'm seeing uh, this entire reading. And that helps tie everything together. So are you feeling like you're in touch with your, uh, with your story? And if not, how did you lose your way? What do you need to do to find your way again? All right, now let's quickly summarize everything that I talked about today so that uh, we can bring it into focus. Your channeled information was really to get behind the words that you're speaking. And if they don't resonate with you, if you're being asked to say something you don't wanna say, if you're being asked to do something you don't wanna do, uh, try to stay strong and find a way to get back to a place where you can be honest with yourself and with others because when that happens, people are going to naturally resonate with what you say much more. And also, more importantly, once you kind of like believe in what you're doing and in what you're saying, I kind of think that's the ingredient to being unstoppable. So uh, if you can't do that, then there's something that's holding you back and that needs to be remedied first. The Catalyst card this month was all about uh, healing relationships that you might have with mentors in your life, with your father, with your mother, there really doesn't matter about the, uh, the word here, father. This has more to do with uh, whoever provided a sense of guidance and support in your life. And if that's missing, this card is reminding you that it's never too late to seek out a mentorship opportunity or to be this father figure for someone else in your life. It will affect um, positive healing in future friendships and relationships. As we look at all of the cards this month, there's definitely a feeling that you need to break free or make a change. I say that because your environment card is showing stagnation or, or actually an end because we have the death card upright. It's not necessarily stagnating. You might be asked to leave or might be breaking up or might be walking away or wanting to do something in that regards. Uh, and then that's fine. We've got the fool here in your crowning position which shows opportunity. And the justice card which shows for some of you this is what's fair, this is what's needed. And that many of you are supported and encouraged on that path. Uh, a general note, again, to say things with as much truth as possible, leaving aside any cruelty or unnecessary speech, of course, um, to speak from the heart, to get a really firm understanding of money matters, to also, before you make any decisions on money, really calculate all the numbers that you can to know that you're in the right place and that you're doing the right thing. There's some delayed travel for some of you, and many of you may want to just take a vacation before making a decision, and that's also a good thing. And I didn't mention that earlier, but I'm mentioning it uh, right now. With the death card here, I want you to take care of yourself. We talked about that in health, and we'll look at this in a second. But if there's anything in your body that needs to be healed or, or taken care of, do that. Also, for any of you that are grieving for a loss of a loved one, also take time for yourself because... Uh, we underestimate how difficult that can be both emotionally and physically sometimes. Your uh, health card this month said divine healing. And again, the way I interpreted that is anybody that is working in a healing field or that naturally helps people a lot or manages people a lot in their life. This month, I want you to put the focus back on yourself and try, uh, try to take care of you. Don't worry so much about everyone around you because 
uh, as long as you're doing okay, then everyone that is going to depend on you is also going to be doing all right. When we look at wealth, I want you to feel uh, a genuine love or happiness about your career, your money, your future. And if there's anything that is causing you to be upset or to kind of lose uh, sleep or if you're feeling tightness, uh, you know, like you need to somehow remedy that so that it's not going to impede on a, on a health level as well. When we're looking at love and friendships, there's a lot of opportunity for new people to come into your life, but it is going to require you wanting to be ready for that. So stepping outside of your comfort zone, putting yourself out there and, uh, and, and saying yes maybe to an invitation. And when we look at the destiny card, this was reversed, but the, the message here is to sing, to speak, to be your true authentic self. And that, that song, that, uh, that uniqueness that you're bringing to the world is what's going to make your melody or your personality stand out. So don't let other people shudder that um, beautiful song that you have to sing. That's everything for this month. I hope that answered all of your questions and gave you the guidance that you needed. Uh, if not, I am available for one-on-one -on -one appointments, so I'll put a link in the description area below and you can feel free to reach out if you'd like to schedule one. Uh, if you'd just like to keep in touch, there are many ways to do so. The easiest is just to subscribe to the channel and there's two buttons. One is going to just keep you in touch on the main YouTube page, but there's also a bell icon and that will send you an email whenever I post new videos. So I would suggest that if you want to know when new videos are posted or join my newsletter and I send one email a week pretty much at this point because I'm doing weeklies and monthlies and uh, you'll know when any new videos are posted. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, I would very much welcome that because this is viewer supported and there's a few ways to do that. You can do that through a donation link on my website. I'm also on Patreon now, same username, Nicholas Taro. So um, any way you'd like to do that, that would be much appreciated. Otherwise, I just want to say thank you so much for working on yourself. This is, uh, this is very important at this time on the planet. There's a lot, of, uh, a lot of people that are dealing with all of the changes that are going on, and there's a lot of things that um, you know, can be upsetting, but it's important now for all of us that are light workers, healers, and highly sensitive people to um, be there as beacons of hope, light, and guidance. So keep working on yourself. That's really the important thing. And it's my honor that you spent some time here and that maybe I can be uh, a little bit of help in that path of your own healing and discovery. Because remember, I really think the message for you this month is to find what it is that makes you unique and get back to that. Don't let, other, don't let anyone stand in the way of that. All right. Um, from my heart to yours, thank you so much for the love, the support, and again, all the well wishes as I've been recovering from surgery. Um, I'll see you soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.